Hello everyone, Loremaster of Sotek here, back with good old Warhammer. So I know the last week or two has been a little hectic uh, with the release of 3K, and of course just all the other insanity going on. I have been significantly focused on that, but uh, I think it's time to go ahead and start getting back to Warhammer. Obviously I intend to complete my Dongzhuo playthrough, but I don't know if I'm going to play 3K too much after that. Maybe every once in a while we might pick up a campaign and all that stuff, but Warhammer is ultimately where my heart lies. Um, I do enjoy the battles much more of Warhammer. It's just that 3K does have a lot of amazing features, and of course, you know, I wanted to focus pretty hard on the game. So without further ado, let's get back into it. Our main objectives for today are to claim Sartosa for our own, and then uh, so we can get the Braid of Bordello. Nice. And then we are building up our empire as best we can. And of course, our waging war in the desert. We're trying to deal with some of these nasty tomb kings. And once we've got them out of the way and under control, then we can deal with the uh, greenskins, which is our main objective. We just want to make sure that these other undead are not in our way. But, uh, I was thinking about it, I actually kind of want to change out some of these lords. Because, although having lots of lords is cool and all, I would like to have a prophetess down here fighting. Which of these guys is less good? Ooh, you almost have the Grail Vow. How about you? You just started. Okay, so let's get rid of this dude. And let's bring in, ooh, level 5 of Heavens is pretty good. 6 of Beasts. Uh, yes, I will take the level 6 of Beasts, then. Well. Uh. That's a tricky one for me, actually. <clears throat> you know what? Let's go with the heavens. Alright, so that significantly impacted our stuff because clearly she doesn't have this. She doesn't have the troth of protection, which she needs as quickly as we can get it. Alright, so we'll keep working on that. She's got the power stone. Nice. Let's see. Give me that. Lord and the hero. Sorry I took away your stuff. Whoops, not that. That. You can have your stuff back. <laughs> we have met before. We shall come to fight. Fight them out. All right, let's go to war with these tomb kings. For our lady. Do our best to deal with them. Destroy them. For now, yes. Hope you're all doing well. Um, it's honestly good to be back with Warhammer. As I have said, I do really, really like Three Kingdoms, but I mean, this is this is ultimately where my heart lies. Their defenders will fall. Uh. Let's make you better at assassinating. Alright, and then... Oh my gosh, there's so much work to be done. Really want to get... Oh, if we could get the max tier Bordello... Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a massive upgrade. Financially, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, we have a boat sailing around. That's right, we're going to go touch... Touch base with the... Techless. And then there's the Green Knight, who's heading down to the desert to support our errantry war. First against the Tomb Kings, and then against the Greenskins. Because I think our main goal is to get rid of this little sub-faction of Tomb Kings, 
then kill off Archon the Black, and then we're going to throw everything we have into the Badlands and just go crazy against them. Because Archon the Black's going to be a little bit of a problem. Ooh, the Greenskins are nearly dead, but the Top Knots are still around in force. Hope you've all been doing well. Um, oh, man, it's been a busy, 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 busy week. Because on top of all the Three Kingdom stuff, I've been hitting the gym pretty hard. Which, uh, still kind of getting used to. Um, today was the fourth day in a row that I've been committed to exercise. So, obviously still a long way to go. But, uh... Eh, it's a little weird. Like, just because... You know, it puts a lot of stress on your body when you're first getting back into it. And, uh... Whether chivalrous or not, I will... Okay, that's fine. That means I just don't have to worry about being attacked from the north for a little bit. Oh, the pirates. Okay. That's fine, I'll fight you. I ain't afraid of no pirates. Uh, where do I want to put the razor standard? Let's put it on you. Well, this is a little inconvenient. Mad mullet sun's coming after me. And this is, I think this is actually the first time I've played since the um, patch update, now that I think about it. Whoa. I don't think I've ever played on this map. There's just this big old honking rock in the middle. Alright, we're going to send Albrecht and Tempate to deal with the frost worm. And then we're just going to set up a nasty infantry line in preparation for the horrifying legions of Norska. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've played since the update. So, um, there have been a couple of little changes to the game. Uh, oh, my paladin's on a pegasus. Nice. Uh, mostly just like balance changes and other little things like that. Alright, let's go deal with him. And I want you guys to focus on the Marauder Berserkers. So we want to do as much damage to them as possible before they get in contact with us. Do we have the Blessing of the Lady? We do not. Not in this army anyway. Pew, 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 pew. Any day now. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. Pull back. Alright, so that Frostworm should get torn up pretty quick. Frostworms are the weakest dragons in the game, uh, I believe. So they should go down in a hurry, no problem. Yeah, especially against these two badasses. If I could get off a really, really nice... Oh, this might go well. Scoosh. Ah, I managed to kind of outrun it. Okay. Alright, we'll go ahead and take out these clowns. Ooh, run. Run, 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 run. Alright, we'll get rid of them. Let's go ahead and dedicate some Knights of the Realm. Ooh, that's a mammoth beeline right for my face. Pull back. Alright, let's send in the foot squires. Bring these two clowns this way. Counter charge, counter charge! Archers, let's focus the feral mammoth. Get some protection going down. Alright, Alberic is going to come for the Mammoth. Paladin, you're going to go for the enemy Lord. Alright, 
Ooh, that did a bunch of damage. Pop that heroic killing blow. Bring it down, bring it down. Angry, angry mammoth noises. Alright, mammoth's dealt with. Just like that. Three, two, one, skidoosh. Right, that should like insta break that whole spiel. Ready for battle for the lady. Victory away. Get your ass down here. All right, we want to chase them down. To the best of our ability. Swiftly. My strength is yours. I am your man. By the lady. Holman. Human archers. Y'all are fast. Go after those skin wolves. Run down as many of the pirates as we can. Hopefully that'll get us in a setup where we don't have to deal with them. Uh, it's so satisfying how quick the fights are. <laughs> like, it's kind of just to the point, which is refreshing. The three Kingdom battles are excellent. They're just... They're a little more drawn out. <laughs> I do like the game a lot, though. And I'm, I'm so glad it's doing really well. Um, I know a video I'm intending on making soon that I think a lot of people are interested in is of course a video about uh, what features I want to see cannibalized from the game because uh, there's a ton of awesome new features in uh, Total War Three Kingdoms that I think could do really really well in Warhammer without you know reinventing the wheel I mean there are some things that 3k did that would be cool in Warhammer that I don't think would work out like um, I think the biggest one is the dual system like Warhammer Fantasy, uh, in Warhammer Fantasy, dueling was a big thing. Like, declaring challenges and having characters duel one another and all that jazz was a huge component of tabletop. Um, there was, like, all sorts of crazy rules for how challenges worked. But to, like, put a duel system in Warhammer would require, like, so much more work. Just because in, uh, Three Kingdoms, like, you don't, like, you really only need a set of animations for, like, every weapon type. But in Warhammer, it gets, like, infinitely more complicated. <laughs> but, that being said, I think there are some features that could be successfully cannibalized. Like, uh... Oh, awesome. Albrecht got hero! Yay! Scourge of Cain's dead. Good. Good riddance. Do you know who I am? Ugh, I did not expect to take that kind of a beating right before we get there, but... Oh, well. Alright, let's get, uh... Oh gosh, do I want to focus? Nah, I think I want to focus on the 
Yellow tree. Well, let's go ahead and get Glorfinnell's progeny. Just to have it. And then this dude. We're going to get Blade Shield. Awesome. So Giovanni accomplished his questing bow. So now I can do... Let's do Pledge to Valor. Alright. And we've arrived at Sartosa. Beaten and bruised, but still in good enough condition to take the city. We've arrived. All right, the Green Knight is heading south with all haste. And first thing I'm going to do before I forget is we're going to upgrade the Bordello thing here to Manon's Dry Docks. Boom. And then we're finally going to get the Morkeo Valley Orchards. Orchards? Orchards? Or whatever. And then I think a uh, trebuchet thing could actually be pretty cool. Minus 5% construction cost faction wide or armor faction wide. Ooh, that's kind of a toughie. I think we'll go with the trebuchets though. Just so I have some kind of unit production here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. Uh, who is this? This is one of my paladins. Okay. What vow are you on? You're leveling up. Okay. Same thing here. You know who I am. Yeah. Son of Bretonia. There's so many like evil heroes around. Nice. How close are you to? Oh my gosh, you still need two more successful agent actions. You are not the easiest man to deal with, sir. Not at all. Okay, but Bretonia is looking pretty good despite the uh, vampiric issue. <laughs> We're getting there. I'm actually totally cool with Xandri collapsing. Uh, not going to try and control it, unlike some of these other places. I don't think I'm going to wait for the Green Knight to get here. Um, I will wait until I have Siege Towers, though. Alright, and then this tech, I believe, is the Wood Elf tech. To get the Azrae under control. Because they are super bitchy right now. <laughs> They're just a massive pain in my butt. Oh, he met Tlaxon, who's still alive somehow. City of the Moon. Oh, they're coming out. Okay, that actually works in my favor. I've got a ton of really nice buffs. Alright, let's do this. And the nice thing is, this these are the Vampire Coast, so if they die, they're dead. <laughs> they don't even have the... Uh, they don't even have the Dead Rise Again buff. Oh my gosh, this is actually a really good map for them. Look at all that water. But this is the final battle for Sartosa. So if I can... The good news is they don't have a cannon. They just have a mortar. Um, so what we're going to do is I think we're going to deploy kind of safely. Back up on this hill. Try and lure them. Like over here. And then fight them. So like we can have the Grail Relic be a tempting target. And kind of hide everyone else behind the crest. I'm going to have to rely significantly on my infantry. To kind of carry the day. Which is a little spooky. Alright, I'm going to need these two to take out their guns. So I only have one unit of uh, really, really nasty guns. The rest are pretty easy to pick on. Also, I can fly down and try and snipe this bloated corpse out. And if I can catch him in a good spot, like this, then I just love tap him. Boop! 
and I just took out two units of Depth Guard for free, like a boss. Oop, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. All right, here they come. It's a magic unit, so we kind of have to... Woo, pull back. My lord. Okay, so those are the deck gunners. Okay, you can come back in. All right, the good news is we are separating the army. We're splitting it apart, which is what we want. Okay, he's firing off mortar shots, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to try and get another good bloated corpse hit with this. I'm going to try and do some damage on these deck gunners here. That was kind of a whiff. Alright. Peasants, forward! Knights, let's get them. Peasants, I want you to focus on the depth guard. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> Idiot. Blew himself up. Hurts, 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 hurts. Let's get in there. They're being chased by Morngulls. This will be nice and juicy. Does leadership damage and, of course, does a bunch of damage to those boys. Nice. Very, very good. Bring some cav down. down. Your Wipe them out. Albert is taking a lot of damage. Honor and glory. Noble and Try and get him out of there if we can. Ready for Charge all the cab to support Alberic. Oh, they're having a nasty time against those Morngulls. The hell out of there! Man, those shotguns are nasty. Get in there! Alright, let's get y'all out. Alright, there we go. Oof. Oh, a heroic victory. Nice! Because that, if I remember correctly, a heroic victory means you get a guaranteed blessing of the lady. Which my army kind of desperately needs. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's us conquer... Sartosa, so we can turn it into a true Shrine of Manon, instead of this piss-poor excuse that, uh, what's-her-face is allowed. Aranessa. Frickin' mermaid mutant. Oh, one of my foot squires died. And we will take it. Alright, so Sartosa is no longer under the whole sway of the undead. Now I've just got to find the Pirate Queen herself and put her down. Which will probably be an inv- Yep, we got the Blessing of the Lady. Nice! That's awesome. Oh great, Kemler is a Blood Dragon. Hey, what's up? 
Look at all this stuff I have. That's so great. Yes, I agree to your trade. We will be friends with the ancient lizards. So long as they don't stand between us and the lady, we're not going to have any problems. We got the charm shield. Oh my gosh, look at all these resources we gained because of uh, Sartosa. Because Sartosa has a unique building that just, just gives you like a bunch of res resources. Like if you're ever playing Dwarves or Tomb Kings, which are two races that require you to have like a bunch of uh, different materials to craft things. Uh, is Carcassonne alive? Oh, they are. Um, appease them. Nice. So that actually gives me the Fey Enchantress. Isn't that cool? Where is she? Blessings of the lady be upon you. Yeah, cool. There she is. Awesome. Does she have full vows? No, she almost does. Honor before glory. Uh, level five paladin. Level five, but he's kind of kitted out the wrong way. Ah, but he has a really good passive. All right, you can stay. I shall share my greatness. What's your deal? You're kind of a fighter. Uh, I'm okay running two paladins with to the Fane Chantress. Don't need you. Bibale. Oh, Bibale's not looking so hot. Defender of the weak. Uh, okay, you've got a not terrible army. It's not a great army, but it's not terrible. I will lead by example. You seek me? Uh, I need you to ride north. I need you to deal with the vampire counts. Alright, what do we got here? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let's get rid of the cav building and the trebuchet building. And keep the farm. Oh, wait. Brion kind of needs a garrison. Oh, it breaks my heart to do this, though. Uh, yeah, gosh, that hurt. Okay. My reputation precedes me. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Yes, it does precede you. Foot squires. All the super fancy knights. Two foot squires. Life dams are leveled up. Let's give her a war horse. Is that salt spike? Nope, that's some random chick. Here's Sartosa. Man, I am super poor. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, can't afford to do anything, so we're just going to kind of sit here. Alright. I already have the Lords of the Forest. That's kind of funny. Uh, ooh, that would only take me two turns, but I'm not going to have enough money for that at this instant. So let's not do that just yet. Um, let's work on... Ooh, I could befriend some of these other dudes. Eh, maybe not yet. Let's work on, uh... Let's do haste doors. Right, we own Sartosa, which let's do... Let's do Venerate the Lady for a while to purify this mess. And then we are going to want Realm of Chivalry to make building that cheaper. Everything's so expensive. Alright. Green Knight's almost to... He's almost here. <laughs> He's riding hard and fast. Alright. Have we met any other potential allies? The Empire. Your king sends brave men to hey, what's up? Me. On it. Nice. Who seeks Techless. Oh, it's you. Excellent. 
Okay, that's fine. Be a dick. Ah, damn it. Man, I really missed that make this offer work button. That button is a fucking godsend. I'm strength rank one. Nice. I'm the strongest man in the world. Oh boy, they do not like me. Maybe I should get that tech instead. <laughs> Start off. Alright, these guys. Oh, not you. The what else? Glade Lord, speak briefly. Oh my gosh, I don't want to be enemies with you guys though. Orders, speak briefly. All right, bunch of jerks. Well, as long as the wood elves don't Lord really, really hate me. Alright. Oh, that's why I can see Teclis. He's right here. Uh, oh, wait. I don't need to wait for the Green Knight. He's not going to do anything for me. Um... Oh, we're over time. Okay, let's just hurry up then. Uh, okay, so... Do I want to raise this or s occupy it? I think I own some of the territory here. So let's occupy. Blessing of the Lady, nice. What is your uh, oh yeah. Oh, the comets. Oops. I need all the comets. My strength and the wisdom are yours. Oh, he has the blessing too. Nice, you both have it. Seers. Awesome. So you're both in good position to go to war at the Black Tower, and once we control the Black Tower, I'll probably send one of them to go fight Archon, and the other to go north to fight the Greenskins. Sartosa is going to be uber busy. See, this is the one I was talking about. Peck Street Pawn Shop just gives you a bunch of different... It's the only way... Fun fact, it's the only way for non-elves and non-dwarves to produce dwarf beer and elven trinkets. Only way. Normally, you have to trade with those factions. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this place as a military base. I think I'm going to use it as a... Um, as a, like, a super base for finances. But in any event, uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Um, I'm going to be releasing a schedule on Saturday for that's going to handle the foreseeable future. Obviously, I'm still trying to get the hang of, like, working out every day and trying to f balance all my shit out and get my life in <laughs> good space. But in any event, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.